So this is the iX Tech dynamic microphone. This is USB and XLR. And also you're listening to it right now. This is what it sounds like. It sounds pretty good. In the box, you get the microphone, which looks really nice, and we'll come back to that. You also get an XLR cable, because it does have an XLR input on it, but you also get a USB-C to USB-A cable, because it does have that USB-C connection on the back of it as well. So yeah, you can either use this as an XLR recording mic, or you can plug this in direct to your computer and record straight through that with that USB. It is plug and play, so there's no need for any additional software. You just plug it into your computer, and it shows up as a microphone source. Also looking at the mic, it has a really nice like one-sided arm where you can adjust that and you can angle it how you like on your boom stand. Where it would connect to that boom stand, they actually have the screw thread for your typical microphone stands, but also it has the 3 8 one as well. So you could just go straight into that. You don't need any adapters. So that's really handy. Looking on the mic, you do have that nice pop filter that's on there. It's going to keep uh, you from making those p sounds and you can also easily take that foam off and use it without the pop filter and this is what it sounds like without that pop filter check one check two and you can see that there is a headphone out on the back so you can actually direct monitor that direct monitor your voice there's a little mute button on there so you can mute that and it will indicate the microphone is off when it is red and you have some volume up and down buttons here at the top as well. But overall, it's a really nice looking microphone. It sounds really good. I love that you have the dual options for XLR and USB. It just makes it that much easier to use and it looks really nice as well. iX Tech makes some really good products. So, I mean, you're listening to what it sounds like, so I highly recommend it and thanks for watching.